unlimited vacation plan or club um world of hyatt what what are all of these things and how can you get enrolled in these in this program we'll talk about it but beware Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel, Sejeki. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be doing a uh, story time <laughs> because um, I recently went to Mexico uh, during the summer and this interesting <laughs> thing happened where uh, my dad and I and my family, basically, we signed up for this unlimited vacation club um think and then we decided to um rescind our our you know uh the contract and basically like cancel the contract and so i wanted to let y'all know like what happened and everything just so that you can be aware when you go to mexico there are a lot it's not some people call it a scam. Some people don't call it a scam. I feel like it's in this murky in-between place where it's not completely a scam, but it's kind of a scam just because um, you don't have all the information, okay? They don't tell you, they don't give you all the information uh, before you sign the contract. And to me, that's problematic. And that's where the kind of scammy aspect of this whole endeavor uh, occurs as well as if you read uh, reviews online, which are surprisingly very few, um, but they're there. They're not very good reviews. <laughs> so let me start from the beginning, start from the bottom, at the top. <laughs> when we got to the airport in um, nearby Cancun in Mexico, my sisters and I, so at the airport uh, in the lobby, the main lobby, there are tons of people there who want to um, sell you some kind of something, right? Some package of some sort or try to find you the transportation to wherever you need to go. And so there are these um, people who, for example, if you want to go to Chichen Itza, which, is, which are the Mexican pyramids, the old pyramids, they have packages for that. If you want to go anywhere, basically, in Mexico, um, they try to sell you some packages, anywhere, especially tourist, uh, touristy. And so my sisters and I were, you know, Chichen Itza is a little bit far from where we were. So we thought, mm, maybe Tulum, um, which are some ancient Mayan ruins, would be interesting to go to. And they offered us a really great deal of $25 per person to go to Tulum and it would include uh, transportation from our hotel to a different resort, because apparently that's the resort that's sponsoring this package. Um, a breakfast, a all-inclusive buffet breakfast, and a 90-minute presentation where there would be no pressure to sign up for whatever they're presenting. And then they would pay for transportation from that resort to Tulum, uh, to the to the um, the ruins as well as pay for um, there's a fee to to go into the ruins so they would pay for that fee and then drive us back from Tulum all the way back to our resort and we were staying in Playa del Carmen for twenty five dollars that sounded incredible I was here for it so were my sisters so I bought the package for us. And um, <laughs> at first they asked me for my age. And when I told them, they were like, can you please say you're older? Can you please say you're, they wanted a specific age. They wanted me to say that I was 39 years old. Um, and they were very happy that I was single because I guess they're targeting women that are 39 and single. Mm, 
a little problematic, but okay. Really weird. So I said, no problem. I can let the, whoever the person is signing us up, like at the resort, I can tell them that if need be. Um, yeah, very weird. And they offered a free bottle of tequila, which I was like, okay, cool. So the day of, the driver was there. We went to the resort. The resort is part of Hyatt. We went to the Dreams Resort in Tulum. And oh my goodness, what a dream. The resort is beautiful, incredible. I will put some pictures at the end of this, of the resort and how gorgeous it is. <gasps> beautiful, incredible. Um, so yeah, we were very impressed. Um, and they didn't have any tequila at the time, so they gave us extra money, or so they said, for us to be able to buy our own bottle of tequila on our own. I was like, okay, cool. So we went, the buffet was oh, so delicious. Um, our guide, I won't say his name out of respect, was so sweet, so kind, so charismatic really full of energy and also um, very earnest. When he first talked to us, he was like, listen, if you're not interested at all in this, just let me know. We don't have to, I don't want to waste your time and it's totally okay if you're not interested. But we are also very respectful people and like we wanted to give them a chance to make their proposal, whatever it was. So we said, no, no, like, well, listen, like, it's fine. Give us the presentation and no worries. Now, what was supposed to be a 90 minute presentation, 90 minutes were supposed to include also the breakfast, which, you know, we ate for almost an hour, almost 60 minutes. And he talked during the breakfast. This presentation ended up being more than four hours. You heard that right. More than four hours. Anyway. We ate our breakfast, he gave us, started talking to us about World of Hyatt. And the World of Hyatt is, you know, um, basically all Hyatt um, hotels, resorts, everything is included in, within the World of Hyatt. And so through this plan that we would be partaking in, um, we would have access to all over the resorts, hotels, etc. in the World of Hyatt and be able to go there at a much, much, much cheaper price. Beautiful. Especially looking at the Dreams Resort, like I was like, I would wanna come to this resort. <laughs> it's gorgeous. And after the tour, whoo, I was even more sold. I mean, they had beautiful, beautiful pools. They, the beach was right there, really close, like right off the sand, really pristine sand and beautiful, gorgeous beach. It was, ugh, the rooms were big, and of course they showed us um, an executive suite room, so with a gorgeous, gorgeous view, um, really great space. I mean, it was just Hyatt. Bravo, Hyatt. Bravo, I gotta say. Y'all, that's probably one of the nicest resorts that I've been to in my life, and I've been to a couple of resorts in my life. Um... And after that, we went into a room, uh, and in this room, it was loud. I'm not noise sensitive. Uh, noise and sounds don't bother me, but they bother one of my sisters. And so it was a bit overwhelming. Like there were lots of tables with a salesperson and another person or a couple or a family and all of them trying to sell this, this package, this thing to these people. And so they have a big screen TV where they showed us an incredible presentation of lots and lots of different resor resorts and hotels in within the world of Hyatt all over the world. By that time, all of us, save for one of my sisters, who's a bit more skeptical, were super excited and super sold. I, I mean, I was like, this sounds incredible. Now, can you give us the details? <laughs> Can you cut the beautiful, beautiful presentation and tell us, like, how much does this cost? What, what, are, what do you want from us? 
because you want something. So tell us. And one of the strategies that the Mexicans do very often uh, in terms of like, you know, to make, I guess, negotiations easier is to give people alcohol. When I went to a store, they gave us tons and tons of tequila, hoping, you know, again, I think the liquor is enough to, to um, basically gouge out the prices, like give us crazy prices and we accept. This was the same. They had champagne or mimosas. They had mimosas um, that they were giving at will. I, you know, whenever one was done, they were ready to give you another one. Um, we were, you know, more cautious in our imbibing of the mimosas as we also drank water. <laughs> and one of my sisters didn't dare drink any mimosa. So after the presentation, they explained, well, um, here are the packages. Like the package that we recommend is one for um, 40 years. And uh, how much was the price? For 40 years, uh, it was going to be... I'm sorry, I like, I'm forgetting because this happened several weeks ago. Oh, for 40 years, it was around $89,000, something like that. Um, between 80 and $90,000, I believe. And for these 40 years, what does that entail? It means that for 40 years, you can, um, you get points, right? Of course. Um, points to be used to stay at one of their resorts or hotels for much cheaper. Uh, every year you get a couple of days free um, because we were, a, we are a family of five we received um, several days free, like I think two weeks or something. And um, you would always get the preferred rate. So like there's a, a normal rate, like let's say um, a room costs $100 uh, a night. Like we would get this preferred rate of $69 a night. And even with this preferred rate, we would be upgraded like if we get a normal room with like double beds or something like that, it would uh, be upgraded to a suite, for example, uh, with a king size bed or things like that. We're with two rooms. Yeah. Um, what else did you get? You, there were some other benefits. Oh, they give you money for traveling. Um, they would give you $500 per year to go towards your travel, whether air flight, your flight, or um, maybe gas money. I don't know. I, again, I don't know like the specific specifics. I just know that's how much they give you. It's like $500 um, for that. And there were other fringe benefits um, that occurred at this moment in time. It's a little bit frizzy, like all of the different benefits that they said, because again, this com conversation, this pitch, sales pitch was more than four hours long. Um, at that time, everyone's brain was fried except for my brothers and my, and my brain. Like we were still very much listening and asking questions. And so I tried to ask as many questions as I could because I'm a lawyer, um, you know, the devil is in the details. I know that. <laughs> and so I asked many, many questions. And my father, who's older, was like, 40 years, I won't be here in 40 years. I'm not interested in participating in something that will last that long. So they immediately proposed, okay, third, if 40 years is too much, how about a contract for 20 years with the same benefits? We will give you all the same benefits. 20 years and you will have to pay um, around $39,900 for the total price of the membership. We did the math and we thought $39,900 $39, for five people 
and we would have access to all of these benefits and this membership. It was a silver membership from a limited vacation club for 20 years. That's not a bad deal. And we get all of these benefits of getting um, a certain number of days for free at a resort or hotel each year, as well as $500 for our travel, as well as like always a uh, benefit. And we get points and such like if we invite friends to use our discount code or family, uh, we get points. And these points can be used again to get, accumulate free days, free nights, uh, at different resorts and hotels, as well as they have many different tiers within Hyatt. They have a tier in Hyatt that's um, the type of hotel, exclusive hotel, that basically sell uh, offers Michelin star restaurant quality. And so everything is just the highest quality. I mean, they have those types of hotels as well as... Um, resorts all over the world and they said that we would have the opportunity to use other hotels outside of Hyatt um, through this this package and we would get also a discounted price for these other hotels incredible right sold right yeah we were sold and then we talked about finances because we didn't want to pay for the $39,900 right then and there. So they had a payment plan. And of course, the payment plan includes some interest and a very high, ridiculous amount of interest. I believe it was almost 10% uh, of interest for the first um, batch of payment that they wanted us to pay. And my dad, you know, is well versed in finance. Finance was one of his majors um, at the PhD level. So he knows what he's talking about. And he said, well, if we give you more of a down payment today, will you get rid of that first tier of the payment plan? So the payment plan was broken up into three, where the first part, uh, which was a big chunk of change, we would pay. 10% of interest. Then the next part for several months, we would pay a certain amount of money um, with no interest. And the third part, same thing, um, less money with no interest. I forget the exact break breakdown. If I remember, I will do another video and let y'all know. But he wanted to get rid of that first one. And they said, well, if you're willing to pay more money down, then absolutely we're willing to get rid of that. And I tried to negotiate something else in, you know, in addition to all of that, I was like, well, how about giving us, you know, we're five, giving us more, more hours, um, more days, sorry, not hours, days, uh, free days to use at your resorts and your hotels. Um, that would, that would really sell us I think that would make us you know maybe more amenable to do to this and then they threw in um, a day on a yacht um, in Mexico that they would pay for uh, which would include you know driving to a beach and drinks as well as uh, some uh, little hors d'oeuvres and things like that and we said deal now, here is where things get, I mean, not here, things uh, were a little iffy, scammy throughout, right, this presentation. But when they bring the contract, which is a contract of 45 pages, um, they don't give you the time to read the contract. And again, reminder that this was more than a four hour long presentation. So if you, <laughs> uh, for me, again, it's not a problem. I have the kind of focus, hyper-focus on things. And so when I'm hyper-focused, I can hyper-focus for a really long time. But my family was done. They were like, are we ever going to go to these ruins uh, in Tulum? Like, why are we here for so long? There's no way you can read a 45 
page contract in five minutes. And that's about the amount of time that they gave us to sign this contract. Um, I tried as they were scrolling through at an impossible pace, this contract to read the details and certain things jumped out at me right from the get. For example, it said, um, and this one, we, they, they had been talking about World of Hyatt, World of Hyatt, World of Hyatt. But this contract, this plan, was under Unlimited Vacation Club. I was like, what is Unlimited Vacation Club? Why isn't it World of Hyatt? I don't know. Two, there are several um, membership fees that you have to pay for certain... Um, for certain... Um, what what are they called like programs um certain things that you need in order to for example make a reservation you have to pay a certain amount um for for this thing and the payment was like three hundred dollars a year and there are a couple of these and i was like excuse me why does it say here like the first year is free, but then we have to pay for this. They're like, oh, no, 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 no. The first year is free and, and you don't have to participate in this program if you don't want to. Uh, this is completely extra and it's just an extra benefit, but you don't have to pay for it. And there were two of them. I was confused. Oh, by the way, the down payment that we... Um, Put, we put a down payment of $13,965, uh, which gave us a, a balance of $25,935, and we were going to pay um, per month $720.42 plus an $11 service fee. So that was, yeah, how much? We we're paying for for all of that and there were some other stuff too um but like i said yes this this whole like you have to pay for these other programs um that are needed i i didn't understand um as well as like there was an explanation of how you can use this package and this benefit um <laughs> which I wanted to get all of the information, right? When we were talking during those four plus hours, we did not get that. We did not get all of the information. So yeah, so RCI is uh, one of the, the things that I was talking about. And for RCI, like there is a $299 activation fee I'm like what <laughs> yeah it didn't make sense also you could only um cancel this membership within five business days after that you would not get your money back five business days seriously wild um what other things i mean it just i wish they had given us all the information during the meeting yeah would it have made it less um less of an incredible deal possibly but like for me personally i'm the type of person if you give me all the information then i can make an informed decision right i can choose yeah i'll I'll pay for this. This is worth my money. I'm going to recoup it anyway. Or no, there's no way that I can participate in this. Anyway, grosso modo, we signed. We made a deal. On accepted. And we left. And that night, my sister, one of my sisters, did some digging and sent a message to all of us. And like, we're both night owls. So, of course, when she started digging, I started digging. Again, the lawyer in me and I started to look for reviews on unlimited vacation plan and not world of Hyatt so I did and um, we my sister came across this awesome 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 
site where this person basically broke down everything for us. Like this person is a life send. If you want that information, just let me know and I'll send it to you. Uh, but he was explaining how this was kind of like the timeshare scam thing that was happening or that happened and that is, I think, are still happening in lots of um, places around the world, like Hawaii. Um, you get sold, right, this presentation about timeshares. And it's a very, very, very similar plan, model. Uh, they both follow a very similar model. And he was explaining how this plan can be beneficial for certain people. One, people who got the money to waste, <laughs> the money to burn, I should say, right? And who uh, don't want to do, they don't want to make the effort to find their own resorts and hotels. Because at the end of the day, what you're paying for is more than what, for example, if you go to Expedia or to um, all these other like um, sites that help you find deals for resorts and hotels, they already get a really great price, a really great discount because that's how they work. So you can already get a really awesome discount to these places if you do the research yourself and if you go through these different um, companies that do the work for you. But if you don't want to do that, then Unlimited Vacation Plan makes it much easier because you have access to the system and you can just go and say, oh yeah, this is what I want and order it. Number two problematic thing. There's only one way to make this, these orders to, you know, to um, uh, solidify your vacation plan. It's via a phone call, via a phone number that they give you. But people don't always answer that phone. Two, it's, they say that we have no blackout dates and you can go anytime. But if the resort is full, if the hotel is full, according to them, it could be a lie. <laughs> they could have a room or two available, but they can say, oh, it's full. So sorry, you can't use it. And your points have an expiration date. You have to use them within a certain time frame. If you don't use them within a certain time frame, you lose them, period. So if you have very specific um dates or times where you're available, where you need to go on vacation and you want to use those uh, points for those dates, but they say that, you know, there's no availability, you're SOL, right? You, you lose those points. Therefore, you get no benefit. <laughs> Therefore, it's a waste of money. Um, there's also been lots of, um, of cries of, of reports by other people of poor customer service and just of making their lives hell in general in terms of the usage of this unlimited vacation club package. So we discussed it as a family and my dad and I were both saying how, again, if we take advantage of all of the advantages that they give, that they offer, if we're able to do so and really, uh, plan strategically, then it's worth it. Then we are getting our bang for our buck. But those are big ifs. And my siblings were not too, too sold on the ifs, on the conditions. And also the fact that we only had five business days to um, cancel the contract, they just felt it was scammy all around. And so we canceled the contract which was also another big production because you have to write a letter, a letter of intent, um, saying that you want to cancel. And you have to, it's a notice of cancellation of the UVC contract. And you have to send it to their people, but as well as sending it to uh, people in Mexico, like the U.S. consulate or U.S. Uh, embassy and like their... Um, uh, their kind of the the equivalent of their department of commerce and things like that so as to make sure that they cancel the contract because there have been issues around that as well 
where, you know, they'll wait more than the five business days and be like, oh no, we got this too late. We can't do it. I sent it by email and they replied uh, two or three days afterwards, um, which was still within the five business days, thankfully. And they paid us back within two weeks of the cancellation. So it wasn't um, terrible. That being said, the guy, the lovely man, our lovely salesperson uh, did call us, uh, call me uh, frantically um, trying to understand what happened. And um, yeah, he, he tried to sell a um, shorter plan um, to say like, oh, well, I can give offer you um, 10 years or or something that's a, a lot more reasonable if if you prefer but um, because I wanted the opportunity to really be able to read the whole 45 page contract which I didn't read all of it but I read a lot of it and I didn't like the contract <laughs> I would have amended a lot of things oh yeah pro tip you can amend contracts friends um, that's something that, you know, I learned in law school and that I know a lot of people don't know, but if there's a stipulation or a clause in a contract that you think, no, I don't agree with this. You can always cross it out. Just FYI. Anyway, that was a lot of information. I blah, blah, blah for a long time myself. Thankfully not four hours plus, <laughs> but I hope that this video will help people um, just be aware that this is a system, that this is something within that area of Mexico. I don't know about all of Mexico, but in the touristic area near Cancun, that airport, it starts from there. They try to sell you a dream. Then they push you on to this organization and don't be swayed. Don't be swayed by the alcohol. Don't be swayed by the beautiful imagery. Don't be swayed by it, by it all. Really do your research first. If you can, delay. Tell them, mm, I'm very interested. Give me the contract. Let me read the contract first. Uh, or have somebody, one of your friends or someone, read the contract for you to make sure you're okay with all of the stipulations and terms. And then make a decision. Unless you got money to blow. Then you do you, boo-boo. <laughs> but I hope this was helpful. And... Uh, I hope you come back to my channel for more of whatever I do, which is usually languages. I teach French, English, and Spanish, and I do some virtual theater on this channel. But I will also start doing more reviews just because I travel a lot. I go to lots of restaurants, and my friends are always asking me. I go to see lots of movies. They're like, what are your reviews? What do you think? And I talk about it, but I don't really share. And I would love to share with all of y'all. Um... Let me know if you've had a similar encounter, if you have a similar story, let me know in the chat and let me know if this was helpful at all. And I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks.